Uh, just a couple of new items I bought this week. Oh, they come from various parts uh, of Europe, uh, uh, Austria, France, and Germany, and England. These items, uh, Fleischmann and Trix. Trix catalog is um, 2011-2012, and it's the uh, one of my most wanted. The TGV SNCF French version. Which is a beautiful model. Quite a rare, hard to get hold of model at the moment, so there we have it. Um, that's the main push pull unit, the two in, uh, intermediate cars, 2T364. Got that second hand, um, about 95% okay. I'm just doing a few upgrades on it. And I've got pair of 23439 second class coaches and another set the same as well reason being is they got these at an absolute bargain price one from Austria and one from um, France so I just need the uh, 23438 set and um, which is a first class and the Tele's bar sorry TGV bar set which is a 23444 which is um, listed in the tricks catalogue so I just need to get another two coach packs to complete the set and that will be a 12 car set then which will be uh, pretty awesome so it's got the interior lighting Doesn't it comes DCC equipped which I'll show there's the, the Talis Tally's version, which I've shown in the past, that's just parts up on the station, and that's a 10 car set, but the new one is going to be a 12 car set, DCC sound, and there we have it, that's what the model looks like, absolutely stunning, stunning train. Uh, took the coach body off one of them. Um, now to get the cockpit out, which I've been doing to fit a figure, got to slide that backwards, turn it upside down, and slide it backwards slightly. It pushes out, it pulls out. You've got to be very, very careful with the cockpit taking it out. Now I'm going to fit a figure in there, a driver, which I did have. Um, there we go. There he is, the driver's in there, got to chop his legs way up above his knee for him to get in there. A bit of um, copy decks, hold him in position. Uh, so what I'm going to do, um, this one is the end with, without the DCC interface. But the one with the DCC interface, I'm going to put the chip here, run two wires down and install the speaker into the coach so I can have a decent sized speaker in there a large cube speaker probably on this particular set I had added ballast weight which someone added which you, I don't think you need that I'm not going to take that out so um, I'm going to put a speaker in roughly the same size as that there and then make it into a 10 car, sorry 12 car set, this one. Another set which I've got which is mega rare to find like this in the original packing from the factory is a Zug set 1999 which can only mean the ice too high speed train which I've shown in the past I've already got one of these in mint condition this is the second one I've got looks like this Absolutely stunning set from the year 2000. This one's mint. This is how this one's going to stay. 
certificates in there, detail pack, listing of all the makes that are advertised on the side of the train, one of 2000 from the year 2000. Um, the other one I'm thinking of converting into the DCC sound and getting it on the system. So I've got one for keeping and one for using. So they're the new items I've got and another couple of items I've done are yeah, another couple of items I've done are the two warships from Flashman there. Now these have got identical decoders and they've been converted to exactly the same specification from analog so they're running in tandem now. So I'm going to put sound decoder in each of these units and have them as a unique uh, twin running set. I'm going to slightly weather them up as well so that's another thing I've been doing. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching.